Hello friends, Yossi Kaplan here, your friendly Toronto realtor. Today we're going to go far away across the ocean and look at a property in Tel Aviv, Israel. This wonderful property is called the Bezalel Residences. It's located in 29 and 31 Bezalel Street, right in the heart of Tel Aviv in the Art District. Before I tell you about this project, let me give you a quick introduction of myself. My name is Yossi Kaplan. I'm a Toronto licensed realtor. I also work in Costa Rica. I focus on real estate investments and now I work in Tel Aviv as well. If you're looking for investment in Toronto, Costa Rica or Israel, mostly Tel Aviv, give me a shout. I can probably help you. All right, let's start with our project. This project is called the Bezalel Residences. It is on Bezalel Street. Bezalel was the artist that built the original temple. Okay, so he was a master craftsman. These buildings too uh, have master craft written all over them. The architecture is beautiful. The style, I would call it Nuo Bauhaus. Tel Aviv is built in a Bauhaus style. It's very nice, clean lines, form, follow, function kind of thing. And you'll see it uh, in the outside and the inside design of these units. Okay, let me get you a view of what we're going to cover here. Okay, the Bezalel Residences in Tel Aviv, Israel. It's an investment opportunity starts at about USD 1.2 million or Canadian 1.6 million. These numbers give or take will change with unit availability and with the fluctuation of, of foreign exchange. Okay, we're gonna cover the partners of the project, the location, the area amenities and public transport, structures, units, parking, unit sizes, unit prices, uh, what you get, parking per unit, cost for locker storage, deposit structure, deposit insurance, what units available, and the contact, okay? So let's dive right into it. I want to tell you about the partners, who is building this project. Here we go. This project is built by Capital Platinum, which is a very serious company from Israel. They specialize in building real estate, new construction, <clears throat> renovations, or completely taking the building down and rebuilding new, like this project here. Our target project in Bezalel, by the way, was demolished yesterday, um, and construction is starting to take place. You can see these guys are very serious, having built or planning or in construction of over 8,400 units in 32 projects, okay? Very, very serious business here. The reason I know these people is because one of my old childhood friends in Tel Aviv is one of the partners in this project, and he asked me to let the world know in Canada, in the U.S., that this project exists. Okay, let me take you to a few details on the project itself. Okay, the location. I'm going to jump to the map, and I'll show you some of the location here. Here we go. Okay, so the red dot here denotes where we are. Let me zoom out for a second and show you where we are in Tel Aviv. We're actually in a very, very good place. That's called the old north of Tel Aviv. Anything south of this, the, the Yarkon River, that stream, is called the old north. Anything north of it is called the new north. Okay, I know this because I grew up in this area right there. My high school was right somewhere here. Okay. <clears throat> now, this project here is about two kilometers from the beach. All the famous beaches of Tel Aviv that you've seen in, in the photos, they're right there. They're right there. Very, very famous. All the famous beaches. It's actually a long strip of beach. There's no separation, but they just call different names according to the streets that reach them, okay? According to the cross streets. Um, the Rabin Square is right here, which is the city center, okay? The... Eben Gevi Roll Street, right here. This is where the future subway will go. They're going to be two subway lines right next to you. And this is the largest medical center in Israel, the Ikilov. Okay, so if you need a doctor, it's right there and it's literally 100 meters away. You just walk over. Okay, the highway, the Ayalon Highway is right here. This will take you to the airport in about 25 minutes. This will take you to Jerusalem in less than an hour, no traffic. It'll take you really anywhere in Israel you want to be very, very quickly. Okay? <clears throat> we'll stay focused here. Let me show you on the map here, just so you see where you are. You see this, this is 
it's busy, but it's not that busy. There's a smaller buildings, okay, that slowly be replaced, but not by giant towers, uh, but slightly larger buildings. So it's still nice. It's not that busy, and it's all beautiful. Now, when you look at the at the at the building itself, okay. Now these two buildings were demolished yesterday, but just so you know, <clears throat> this here, this one here. Get back. Okay, <clears throat> this is 29, 29 on the left, and 31 here. These two are our target buildings. This crane you see is behind. There's a lot of cranes in the area because a lot of people are going through this process of demolishing a three or four story building, and they will build six to eight stories, no more. Okay, and you can see there's another crane here, and a lot of these buildings were built in the 50s. You can see how tall the trees are. Um, <clears throat> So it's centrally located, very quiet, completely new construction. Okay, very, very good. Okay. Okay, these are the ones. Okay, now I'm going to show you, <clears throat> go back to the plan here, show you some area amenities and public transport. I spoke a bit, a little bit, but I'll show you again. <clears throat> <clears throat> on the main street, right here on this main route, there will be subway line going, and there's going to be all the subway lines going to run through here. Okay, this is the main run right, right here. Okay, that's the main subway line. There'll be others. There's a lot of public transport available. Uh, you got there's no Uber, but there's a service similar to Uber. There's a lot of taxis you can get with the app. You basically get to the airport here in less than half hour. Very very convenient. The location itself is so good, you don't really have to go anywhere to do anything because it's all there, okay? You're literally in the heart of Tel Aviv. Um, <clears throat> oh, that's the city hall right here. And you can see these are old buildings. A lot of rejuvenation is happening here. This is the Rabin Square, which you'll find a lot of the shows and demonstrations. Everyone comes to this square. So you're literally in the heart of the city, okay? The structures, uh, there are two structures like you saw, and the units, there are 39 units total, 39 units. Now, the people that used to live in the two buildings I showed you earlier, they'll be moved out, and when the buildings are built, they'll be brought back in, okay? So they will take all the units they previously occupied, and whatever is left over, the developer can sell. Out of these leftover units, there are nine units available at the moment, not nine units. When you contact me, I'll give you the exact spec for each unit available with the current price and availability, okay? Those do change. Some units could be on the contract. Uh, what's done and what's been built and, and purchased, it's done. And what's uh, still available, still available. I'll let you know when we speak, okay? Um, each of these units come with one parking spot. The one parking spot is included in the price. There are a handful of parking spots that you can buy for some extra price. And for the lockers or storage, the way it works is there's a few storage spaces downstairs, and it's kind of a little room, as I'm explaining. You get your own room. You can store whatever you want. That cost is additional, and it runs around 1,020 a foot. So it's sold by the, by the size, whatever, whatever they're going to have available. Uh, the one park is included, but you can get extra parking at cost, too. And if you wanted EV parking, that could be done after the fact. You can add EV parking, okay, which is the plug and the meter for that. I asked the developer about that. Okay, so that's that. Uh, let's go back here. The unit sizes range from 550-ish square feet, indoor plus balcony, to larger units up to 2,200 square feet. Now, some of these units... Um, sprawl over entire floor like the panels. Some of these units, the ground floor units, some of them have a basement, uh, which is a tall basement you can use, and they have a garden you can use. So some of those, one of the garden units is actually larger than the panels because there's more space you could use. Okay, so those, those are very nice. Uh, I may be able to show you here. So this is the location spoke about this well the art district of Tel Aviv because a lot of museums there this is the city park this is the Likatesen these are various squares 
Okay, this is the National Theater. Uh, this is another national uh, event place, <clears throat> uh, a little mall, the opera. Uh, there's a national, uh, the National Theater. This is the, the square, that's the theater. That's the Tel Aviv Museum. This is the Sarona complex. This is the Azrieli complex. This is the Weizmann complex. Here's the hospital. And here's the, the square where all the fancy boutiques. That's the Tel Aviv's uh, Fifth Avenue, Yorkville's right there. All right. This is an uh, idea, this is a render of one of the garden units. You can see the absolutely beautiful sprawling. The weather is really good. Average temperature is probably 23 to 25 degrees. Winters are not cold, definitely not for a Canadian. Uh, <clears throat> you can walk right out in this whole garden. You can use two, okay? That's pretty good. Uh, there's another render here from the penthouse. You can see the, the design is kind of Bauhaus, very clean European style, okay? Go back to my list. Uh, the prices of the units are going to be starting at 1.2 million USD to 1.6 million Canadian, give or take, with exchange rate and your options and your closing costs. And that goes up and up and up and up to the large units, the penthouses, uh, and the garden units. Um, as I said, one parking is included, and the cost of lockers is approximately 1,020 Canadian dollars a foot because it's a little room and they have a few rooms of uh, various sizes. If you need one, um, you can purchase one if they're still available. And the USD is about 750 a foot. Okay. <clears throat> the deposit structure is a little different in Israel, uh, and also because if you may be a foreign buyer, the uh, deposit structure for you could be a little different. Uh, developer usually takes about 20% when you sign the agreement after everything's said and done. And then there'll be payments, usually typically 20% uh, to completion. Now, there are mortgages available uh, that you can do, and usually they're in the 50% mark, means 50% cash, 50% mortgage. We can connect you with the right people. There is a bank and a legal firm that is with this project can, can give you services or you can get your own, it's okay. The deposit insurance, the bank that is in charge of this project is probably attached to a bank in, in Israel. Uh, the bank insurance insures your deposit. So whatever deposit you, you put, you get a note from the bank, that was your deposit. So that's how it works in Israel. Uh, the units available are, there are nine units left at the moment, okay? The people that live there before get their units and from all the rest of the units available for, for sale, pre-sale, nine are available right now, starting at the 1.2 million USD, 1.6 million Canadian, okay? That is my review for 29 and 31 Bezala residences. There's a lot more to know. Uh, if you wanna know more, you have any questions, I have all the information, feel free to reach out to me or send this video to anyone you know that may like it. Uh, this is Yossi Kaplan. You can contact me here, Yossi Kaplan at gmail.com or yossikaplan.com. And this was my review for the Bezalel residences. Hopefully we'll have a drink in Tel Aviv soon. Thank you very much.